Welcome to Cam Jam. This is YouTube channel, which uh, today we bring in this great artist, Robin Banerjee. Hey, how you doing? Nice to see you, dear Kamal. Nice to see you too, my How's friend. Going? <laughs> so, Robin, please tell us um, your experience. Of course, I have to mention M Wine House. So you've been the guitarist for a couple of years, and um, and I think you have quite an interesting thing to tell about this great artist, M Wine House. Which has became famous all over the world. Please tell us about your your experience and how we, how was it? And please tell us about more. Thank you. Well, yeah, dear Kula, thanks for the question. I mean, Amy was a, a lovely girl. Um, we all loved her. She was such a, a kind person, um, and of course, we all know her musical ability was extraordinary. Uh, so I had the fortune of working with her in 2006 and seven, um, touring her live uh, album Back to Black. And we went to uh, Europe, USA, um, and um, we recorded some tracks on the Back to Black Deluxe album, which was a future release. Um, so yeah, I, I guess, well, I guess going back, I, I met her in 2004 in a festival in Wales, um, and she, we said hello, and then they were looking for a guitarist. So I, I, I always say I struck it lucky. I was really lucky and fortunate to, to meet her, and such a wonderful person, and 
and in the end get to play with her. Great, but she's also lucky as well to have a great guitarist oh, as you. Thank you. Thanks <laughs> <so>. <laughs> And uh, you know, also you you got experience, uh, you know, playing like uh, you tell me about Brazil, you told me about Tel Aviv, you told me about Hong Kong, and I think you got a few tours and places that you, you've been playing around the world and different projects as well. Can you tell about your your projects afterwards, after you you know, after Amy gone, unfortunately, yes, yes. and then you have your your solo career, you know, and tell us about and how was it? Well, how is it? Yeah, well, in a way, it was um, a continuation of. Um, <laughs> Um, the time I had played with Amy, I, I sort of had this inspiration to just go and do my own thing and so I eventually formed my own ska jazz project which I have now which is called Robin Banerjee Scar Jazz Quartet and we, we have had some gigs in Hong Kong, um, Argentina um, and what I tend to do is I, I find musicians locally um, and, and ask them to play with me. Um, so it's really easy to put together because I can just go to the country and then call some great guys and hopefully you and I are going to be oh yeah there. it will be a pleasure my friend <laughs> and, and yeah mention about Brazil um, I, I heard that you also do tributes and uh, you know about Emmy and you have um, find a few countries that are like, such as Argentina and Brazil there's great tributes band there we know there's Brazilian uh, great musicians um, so you, you you've been to Brazil already and tell, uh, tell us about experience about Brazil and if you if you want to go again what's your idea of, of Brazilian music Brazilian people well yeah I, I loved Brazil I went there in 2013 to play at the um, Sao Paulo festival it was um, Virada Cultural Festival <laughs> and that was a great experience that was actually with the original Amy Winehouse band after Amy passed away we done a tribute the following year and the people of Brazil we know are crazy about Amy they love her and so we, we felt like we needed to go so we went and we had a great time it was beautiful we played all around Rio, uh, Rio uh, sorry Sao Paulo State in Rio Preto and in other such areas um, that was amazing, but then I haven't. I then went last year and played just with a straight tribute band. And like you said, the musicians of Brazil are great. Mm. So I've done a few shows in the south of Brazil, um, in Porto Alegre, near Porto, Porto Alegre, Alegre, in a town called Lajeado. Mm. And that was fun. And I learned more about the Brazilian culture. So the was it the MBP? M MPB. 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 Sorry, guys. Yeah. Um, that which is it is uh, popular yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was listening to that a lot on the radio and I went to a few nights where they were playing live music and I really cool. enjoyed that um, and of course the food in Brazil is amazing ah, yeah so was yeah. it Sao Paulo you've been to and uh, Sao Paulo in 2013 yeah. and, and in last year I went to Porto Alegre Porto Alegre not yeah. Rio de Janeiro yet not yet and not Minas Gerais yet no, you're missing yet. Minas Gerais yes, in great yes, places yes, yes. and uh, what about your experience in Hong Kong is it quite interesting to know that you know from from London being international yeah. uh, musician and play all over the world but Hong Kong sounds quite interesting as well also Tel Aviv so can you tell a bit uh, about this experience traveling uh, especially to Hong Kong yeah Hong Kong is a totally different cultural experience it's it's um, well it's a great food you know it's very um, you know the Chinese culture is a lot of um, tradition to it so there are a lot of rules to follow but if you st follow those rules you can still feel like you're free but it's a bit more kind of I don't know, I don't want to use the word restricted, but it, that restriction allows you to, to enjoy yourself because mm. it, everything is safe. Like the, the, you, you go there and there's no crime, which is unbelievable. Interesting. You feel really safe. And the music scene is quite a rich music scene of mainly expat musicians from Europe, Australia, U USA that live there. And there are also local musicians and we sort of blend in quite well. I heard that they love jazz as well there. They really Japanese. love jazz. Yeah, yeah like in uh, especially Japan. Um, and, and in Hong Kong it's similar, there's a lot of um, music, uh, scene for jazz and in Hong Kong it's hot as well, mm. so it's kind of like 25 degrees Really? Yeah. Wow! So, yeah, yeah. so you, Brazil also has been there, so you know Yeah, yeah, it's hot. yeah, yeah. Um, Great, so in, in terms of your project, uh, you have a new album coming or you already record some albums, I know you play with Emmy, you record with Emmy I think uh, Back to Black and other ones as well um, what about your own album music? Because people will be interested to listen to your music. Yeah, well, well, I've got this Scar Jazz project, the Robin Banerjee Scar Jazz Quartet, and we've done a live EP in Argentina, and we've just completed a studio album in Buenos Aires, which is going to be released soon. So it's a combination of uh, jazz standards already written and also our own compositions. 
I'm really excited to be able to perform. Me that. too. I want yeah. one copy. Yeah, yeah. yeah I will. <laughs> so okay, guys, here we go. Robin Banerjee and don't miss listen to his stuff. He's a great jazz musician. I will not even say jazz. He plays everything.